This is my new puppy Ponyo. Look how cute he is. And in celebration of me getting a new puppy, we're making puppy paws. This is what we're making today. Puppy paw hash browns. We're gonna start off by peeling two large russet potatoes. Then we're gonna cut them into tiny little bits. The purpose of this is to cut down the cooking time when we throw it all in the pot. So once we've cut it in half, we're gonna cut it in half again into quarters and then cut them into little pieces. Like this! Next, in a pot of boiling water, we're gonna add in some salt and then dump in our potatoes. Careful when you're dumping in your potatoes because hot water will splash and not burn yourself the way I did. We're gonna cook this for about 15 minutes. Next, we're gonna cut this broccoli into large florets. I'm gonna cut about 6 florets, just in case I don't like the size of the other ones. Learning from my mistake from the potatoes, I'm going to slowly dump this broccoli into this pot of hot water. We're going to bring this to a simmer and then cook it for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, we're going to take our broccoli and put it in cold water. By this time, our potatoes should be done. We're going to use the fork test to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. When you're confident that it's cooked, we're going to strain it all into a bowl. Next, while the potato is still hot, we're going to pass it through a sieve. This will give the potatoes a fine consistency and give us a nice fluffy cloudy texture. I want my hash browns to have a crispy texture on the outside and a nice fluffy cloudy texture on the inside. Once we put all the potatoes through, we're going to season our potatoes with a tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of white and black pepper, and a tablespoon of salt. We're going to give this another mash and mix. Now, we're going to cut some cheddar blocks to stuff into our hash. Then, we're going to shred some cheddar, then mix it with our potatoes. This will be our binding agent. This will help our hash stick together. We're going to throw our cheddar into our warm mashed potatoes and give it a good mix with our hands. Careful that the mashed potato is not too hot or you will burn yourself, like I did. And this is an example of me not learning my lesson. Next, we're going to take our cheddar block and engulf it in potatoes. This will be the base for our puppy paw. Once we've created the base, we're going to make room for the other pads. We're going to make indentations with our fingers on the base to put the pads on. Once we've made our indentations, we're simply going to roll up a ball of potatoes and place them right on it. The potatoes should fall right into place and the cheddar should help them stick together. Once all the pads are on, just simply pat it to give it its desired shape. Once we've made our puppy pots, we're going to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. In a bowl, we're going to throw in 1 egg yolk, 1 teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and 1 tablespoon of lemon. Once it's all in, we're going to give this a good mix. Once everything's incorporated, we're going to slowly stream in 250 milliliters of canola oil until we form a mayo. Now guys, I know in the recipe it says jam, but if you look at the picture, it looks like a white dipping sauce. So I'm going to make a mayo. Once our Dijon mayo is made, we're going to enhance the flavor by throwing in 1 teaspoon of malt vinegar, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, and 1 teaspoon of salt. We're going to give this a little mix, and this is our Dijon mayo. After 10 minutes in the freezer, our hash brown is ready to be breaded. The purpose of putting it in the freezer is so that it sticks together and also hold its shape. Now, here's another thing guys. I know in the recipe it says using pine cone, but pine cones are not edible. 
So we're gonna use panko. Panko, panko, get it? Sounds the same? That's what we're using. Anyways, once it's all breaded, honestly, you can throw this back in the freezer if you'd like or just start frying right away. In my case, I actually threw it back in the freezer for 10 minutes and then right after, I deep fried it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 4 minutes. Make sure after 1 minute that you're actually moving this around or the bottom will get burnt unless you have an actual deep fryer. You want a nice golden brown color like this. I don't know why I didn't use a strainer to pick it up, but make sure you strain out all the oil and we're going to put this on paper towel. Once we've cooked up all the hash browns, let's get ready to plate. Well, that was really easy to plate. Now let's eat this. Look at that puppy paw. Oh, I can't wait to play with him. Ponyo, wake up! Stop sleeping! Alright, now let's actually eat this. We're gonna cut it in half and take a look inside. Oh, look at that! It's like a mashed potato grilled cheese sandwich. Let's taste it. Oh, this is making my mouth water. Just the smell of it. So we're going to dip this into our Dijon mayo because that's what we do. And mm, mm, mm. crispy on the outer layer, cloudy on the middle layer, and creamy in their inner layer. It's also well seasoned, delicious. And as for this broccoli, this is a good snack for children. Broccoli in a dipping sauce, mm, mm, mm. I know some of you guys are out there going, ugh, that's disgusting, but you know what? Try it, it's delicious. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. A lot of you guys have been requesting it for a while now. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Guys, if you guys are interested in cute puppies and their daily antics, check out Ponyo's YouTube channel. I'll post the link below. Oh, I can't wait till he wakes up. I want to play with him so much.